Seminar. The Humanities Department of a college is planning to organize eight seminars. One for each of the eight doctoral students. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Eight seminars, eight students. Four are from economics, three from sociology, and one from anthropology. Eight students, three departments, four, three, one. Each student is guided by one among P, Q, R, S, and T. So five professors, eight students. Two students are guided by each of P, R, and T. While one student is guided by each of Q and S. 3 into 2, 6, 7, 8, yeah. Each student is guided by a guide belonging to their department. All good so far. Eight students, three departments, 4, 3, 1. Each student guided by one professor. Two students by P, R, and T. One each by Q and S. The one professor here, Q or S, should be a sociology professor. One student straight away. And I think, uh, sorry, not sociology, anthropology. One from anthropology. Each seminar is to be scheduled in one of four consecutive 30-minute slots starting at 9, 9.30, 10 and 10.30. Four slots. We have eight students. Let's read this. More than one seminar can be scheduled in a slot, luckily, provided the guide is free, obviously. Only three rooms are available. Hence, at the most, three seminars can be scheduled in a slot. Students are guided by the same guide must be scheduled in consecutive slots. The guide doesn't want to go out and come back. All simple so far. Four slots uh, and eight meetings and eight seminars. So, maximum of three in each, uh, each slot. So, there will be some empty slots as well. Right? Lovely. The following additional facts are known. Seminars by students from economics are scheduled in each of the four slots. Lovely. So economics 1, 2, 3, 4, all four are going to be there in, uh, in each of those slots. A is, is the only seminar that's scheduled for 10 a.m. A is guided by R. A is guided by R. It's only seminar for 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. there's one seminar that is A. A is an economic student and A is guided by R. This is lovely. F is an anthropology student whose seminar is scheduled at 10.30 a.m. 10.30 is the last slot. An anthropology student. So F should have been guided by Q or S. But they are the ones who have only one student each. P, R, T have two students each. There's only one anthropology student. Should have been Q or S. That's good. The seminar of a sociology student is scheduled at 9. The first slot is sociology. So 9 a.m. slot is economics and sociology. 10.30 a.m. slot is economics and anthropology. Something else could be there as well. The 10 a.m. slot, there's only one economic slot by A. So far, so good. B and G are both sociology students whose seminars are scheduled in the same slot. Lovely. B and G, same slot, sociology. The seminar of an economic student who is guided by T is also scheduled in the same slot. So T, uh, B and G, and one other student who is guided by T, there are three to a slot. Two sociology and one economic student. And this is obviously not the 10 a.m. slot because A is sitting there. It's not the 10.30 slot because there's an anthropology student there. There cannot be four. It could be the 9 a.m. slot. It could be the 9.30 a.m. slot. We still don't know that. P who is guiding both B and C has students scheduled in the first two slots. So P guides both B and C. B is a sociology student. So C should also be a sociology student. And P guides B and C, B, C, G are all sociology students because B and G are both sociology students and P is guiding B and C, B, C, G are all sociology students. F is anthropology, the remaining should be economics. A and G are scheduled in two consecutive slots. Lovely, I think there's a lot of information here. We're going to get one nice complete grid and then it should be easy to answer. I'm going to capture this. I'm going to say, I'm going to put the students in one pot. The teachers in one pot, the time slots in, in one pot, the meeting schedule. And so economics are scheduled in each of the four slots. So let's say this is economics one, economics two, eco three, eco four. We know that AS is the only one at 3 p.m. So this is A scheduled by R. And A is an economics uh, student. R is an economics professor. F is an anthropology student. So F here and F is going to be guided by Q or S. They are the ones who are doing only one student and one of them should be for F. The other should be for sociology because there are two professors. There are four professors. 
two, 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 one remaining. Four economic students, only three sociology. So P, T, R, two of those three will be for, for economics. Other one and Q slash S will be for sociology. Fine. Lovely. The seminar of sociology student is scheduled at 9 a.m. So this is a sociology student sitting here. B and G are both sociology students whose seminars are scheduled in the same slot. Seminar of an economic student who is guided by T is also scheduled in the same slot. So B, C, G are sociology students. So B, C, G, sociology. F is anthropology. So the remaining A, D, E, H. A, D, E and H. Put together A, D, E, H are going to be uh, A, our economic students. Lovely. A and G are scheduled in two consecutive slots. A is here. So G should be either here or here. One of the two. I think there's already a giveaway there sitting there. Let's put some basic things in. This is F. Economics is A. B, C, G are together. A, D, E, H are together. We've already made these inferences. We've filled in economic one, two. Third one is this. This is four. F is given to Q slash S and S slash Q will be doing the other third sociology student. So this inference we have made sociology. A P is a sociology professor mentoring B and C. Lovely. So P is sociology. R and T should be economics. Q and S. One of them should be for sociology. The other should be for anthropology. All good so far. T is the professor mentoring two students. He's an economics professor mentoring two. One of QS should be anthropology, the other should be sociology. Now, key point here, A and G are scheduled in two consecutive slots. This is very crucial because if A is here, G should be here or here. We know that if G were here, then in the same slot as G, sorry, B and C and the other economic students one second. B and G are sociology students whose seminars are scheduled in the same slot. And so B and G in the same, B and C in the same slot. B and C are guided by P. So B, G go in the same slot. C should be in the adjacent slot because the professor will come at the same times. So if this were G, then B and C would have to be here. That's not possible. Or it's clear the G should be here, which means Give me a second. Let me just check. G should be here, which means B and G should be here and C should go right on top. Key thing is to locate G. Once we locate G, everything else falls in place. G cannot be here because G and C, B, C uh, should be on adjacent slot. Because G and B are in the same slot. B and C are in adjacent slot. That's not possible here. So G should be here. That builds everything else after that. G should be in slot 2 or 4. B and G are together. So G cannot be in slot 4. And so, so B and G go here. Slot 2 is the one with 3 students. We have 2, 3, 2, 1. Sorry. 2, 3, 1, 2. 2 students in this slot. 3 in this. 1 in this. 2 in this. Adding up to 8. Now, once we have this, everything else we can put in place. B and G in this slot. C goes here. B is mentored by P. C is mentored by P. We have F mentored by Q slash S, G by the remaining S slash Q. C, C should be in slot 1. We've already put that. These, these both get taken by T. These both take, get taken by R. C is in slot 1. T should be teaching slot 2. And so T, B, G. T is in the same slot where B and G go in. So T sits here. And we have D, E and H remaining for echo. So D, E, H in some order go here in echo 1, 2, 4. We know G is mentored by S or Q. The opposite, the other one, missing one based on F. B, G and C are sociology professors. B and C are mentored by P. G, we don't know, S or Q, Q or S, depending on which one F is mentoring. Right? I don't think we can get further detail than this. I think we are pretty much covered. Eco 1 and 2 by T, 
eco 4 by r a is governed by r c and b sociology students by under peace guidance g is a sociology student with s or q f would be qrs the other one teaching there lovely let's look at the question which of the following statements is true only one seminar is scheduled in the second slot no second slot has three so this is wrong three seminars are scheduled in the last slot no two three seminars are scheduled in the first slot no only two Two seminars are scheduled in the first slot. Yeah, that is correct. One of the economics by T, another sociology by P. Who are all not guiding any economic students? T and R are guiding economic students, not guiding B, P, Q and S. P is governing sociology. Q and S, one is sociology, other is anthropology. P, Q and S. Yep, that's here. Done. Which of the following statements is necessarily true? Q is guiding G, not necessarily. It could be S guiding G, Q guiding F, not true. H is an economic student. Yeah, A, D, E, H are economic students. This is true. B is scheduled in the first slot. No, B is scheduled in the second slot. It is necessarily not true. S is guiding F. No, we don't know. The F and G are guided by S and Q. That much we know. Who is guiding F? Who is guiding uh, G that we don't know. So, so not true. Not true. These two are not necessarily true. This one is definitely not true. This is true. If D is scheduled in a slot later than Q's, then which of the following two statements is are true? D is scheduled later than Q. To start with, then this cannot be Q. Because then it, it cannot happen afterwards. That means this is Q. And this is S. F is guided by S. G is guided by Q. D is scheduled later than Q. That means this is D. A, E, D, H are remaining. E and H go here. That can be in any order. But G is guided by Q. F is guided by S. D is guided by R. That much we know. E and H are guided by true T. Yeah, that is true. They go in some order in slot 1 and slot 2. But they are guided by T. G is guided by Q. Yeah, that is true. Neither 1 nor 2, both 1 and 2, only 1, both 1 and 2, both are 2. If E and Q are both scheduled in the same slot, E and Q are both scheduled in the same slot, then which of the following statements best describes the relation between D, H and T? E and Q are in the same slot. Okay, This could be E, this could be Q. Or this could be E, this could be Q. Both are possible. It told the same slot, but the same slot could be the 930 slot or the 1030 slot. Let's try both. Let's put this as E, put this as Q, in which case this would be S. That is one possibility. Or put this as E, put this as Q, in which case this would be S. And so Lovely. So, A and E taken care, get taken care of. D and H will go here. A and D get taken care of. D and H would be here. Uh, lovely. We fill, filled everything in. Let's go to this. At least one of D and H is guided by T. At least one of, yeah. D slash H could go here. The other would go here. D and H could go here in some order. Yeah, this one seems to be true. But I'm going to look at the others as well. Both D and H are guided by T. Not necessarily. It could be D here and H here. This need not be true. Neither D nor H is guided by T. Not possible. This is D or H. This is H or D. One of the two has to go. In this case, D and H both are mentored by T. So this is not true. Exactly one of D and H is guided by T. Not true. Because if we have this scenario, then D and H would be guided by T. Not one of the two. This is also not true. At least one of D and H. It could be D or H here or D and H here. So T could be guiding just D, just H or D and H. All three possibilities exist, which means statement A is true. Others need not be true. If D is scheduled in the slot immediately before Q's, D immediately before Q's, this could not be Q because this can't be D. I mean, this should be Q. So this is, G is guided by Q. F is guided by S. This student is D. D is guided by T. That much we know. Which of the following is not necessarily true? G is guided by Q. That is necessarily true. 
That is definitely true. D is guided by true, necessarily true. D is guided by T, necessarily true. F is guided by S, necessarily true. E is guided by R. E and H are remaining. Could be E here, H here, or the other way around. So E could be guided by T and H could be guided by R. E guided by R, not necessarily true. That's the choice we're looking for. Once we get that overall grid, the set becomes easy. This has been the set to attack in that slot because it's six questions. Not that difficult once you go past that initial thing, which is waltzing. And there are several variants available, but once you've got the framework, the variants take care of themselves. Thank you.